Hi everybody, this is Miss Liang here. Um, thanks for tuning in. I just wanted to show you what it would look like as you create a Scholastic Book Club's account. So if you already have an account, you can go ahead and log in over here with your email and password and sign in. However, if this is your first time, you can get started over here. Parents, start over here, get started. So every single class has a class code. Our class code is the letter M like mom, the number 8, the letter R as in rainbow, and the number 23. Submit. And you should see our class here. My name is Shirley Liang, the name of our school, PS244Q, Active Learning Elementary School, school location Flush, New York, 11355. So you click on create an account. So this is for your information. You put your first name, first name, last name, email address. Password, go ahead and create whichever one you want. And make sure you accept the terms of use, which you can always read here, and accept, read and accept the privacy policy, which is over here. And then hit continue. Now that you have created an account, you can add your child. So if you have more than one student in our school or in different schools, you can add different children. Go ahead and enter the child's first name, last name, and grade. Um, they ask for the grade so that they can know what kind of books to show you and that they can show you the correct flyers for our grade. Birth date is optional. Okay, now that your child has been successfully added to your account, let's get started. So as you log in, you can see that we have our first due date. Um, there will be a new due date as we send out new flyers or shop online. So you can shop by grade, by collection, and by flyer. I like to look at flyers, so I'm going to start here. Let's click on the first grade flyer. Go ahead and find a book that you like. Ooh. There was an old lady who swallowed a bat, and this one's a $1 until this date. So I see that here that is an item number, 7, 6, the letter S, as in Shirley, and the number 1. So if you order on paper with the flyer and you want to send in cash, make sure you in indicate the item number and the cost when you send it in. Otherwise, you can go ahead and click the item, add to cart, if you're done, you can go to checkout and then continue or continue shopping. Let's say I want to continue shopping. Ooh, elephant and piggy books. This one's a two set and it's a paperback for only six dollars. I want this one too. So I'm going to add to cart. Continue shopping. And let's get one more. Grow Up David. This is uh, the series of books about David by David Shannon are really popular. So let's say you want two because you want to get it as a gift. Add to cart. Okay, now I'm all done. Go to checkout. And when you order things online, you can go ahead and proceed to checkout and you'll be prompted to enter in payment. Um, so you'll have to do that through either credit card or PayPal. Notice how everything will be shipped to our school. So once the orders are shipped and we receive them, I, they will be sorted and sent home with your child. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Otherwise, happy shopping and happy reading.